We all know that education is more than just textbooks and lectures. It's about sparking curiosity, inspiring innovation, and preparing the next generation of thinkers. Welcome, Eric. Today we're discussing how cutting-edge technology, such as AI for teaching and learning frameworks on AWS, is revolutionizing the classroom and empowering both students and teachers. Thank you, Catherine. Great to be here. Let's start with short introductions. I'm Greek-Canadian, and I've been living in Luxembourg for 10 years now. Luxembourg is the seat of many European institutions, including the University of Luxembourg and Amazon Europe's headquarters. Eric, can you tell us your journey that brought you to Luxembourg? Yes, uh, I'm French. I came to Luxembourg by marriage. Um, I've been uh, hired at the University of Luxembourg in 2002, just before its inception, after working in the pharmaceutical industry. Uh, I'm professor of physiology by training. And I've been occupying a uh, managing position in university in research, business and finance, uh, organization of academia, fundraising, technology transfer, and so on. So I know pretty well as an institution, uh, as uh, mostly as the vice president. I never stopped teaching uh, because I feel that the students are the most important people, our most important clients in our institution. I'm teaching physiology, pharmacology, and, and also biophysics to some extent. Thank you very much for sharing. My AWS teams have been working closely with many educational institutions across Europe, including the University of Padova in Italy and the University of Turku in Finland. From your perspective, what are the most pressing challenges facing universities today? Um, I think that, and I believe actually, that the most important challenge or key aspect is the amount of information which is available. Uh, everybody talks about, you know, data centers, data lakes, and so on. But the key question for the students is to be able to analyze and get context of this information. And so one of the, uh, the options in this context was to find a solution where we can contextualize, we can structure, and we can also bring this information to the, to the students. I know you're a great champion of bringing AI into the classroom, and you've been working with our teams at AWS to solve some of these challenges by implementing a new tool called Lecture. This innovative solution was developed by one of our partners, a global edtech consulting firm, EDT and Partners, powered by AWS using AI for teaching and learning framework on AWS. Can you tell us a little bit more about this project? Yes, so this lecture project, you know, we started with Amazon Web Services already at the start and EDT and Partners was brought later on. Um, the, the point of lecture is, is, is linked to the following, the following ideas. Um, we used my matter, which is physiology, which is the science of life, from the cell to the environment in interaction with it. And it's something which is important because physiology is a network of information. And you can see the parallel with DNA in, in a moment. It was also the perfect setup for looking at experiment, experimenting with AI in the classroom, precisely because we have this network information. And if we go back to biophysics, in a nutshell, we also look at digital information, zero and one. So it's something which is extremely, extremely important in this context. Secondly, EDT partners and AWS we helped us to design a complete learning ecosystem for the students for the first year of, of, of medicine. It's something which was ex extremely important for them because there is a lot of information which is coming to them. Uh, and this teaching and learning env environment was a first test for this uh, last uh, winter semesters. And our partners were completely instrumental in being able to help us to find the right relationship between the teaching and learning ecosystem and the know the person, the students. Um, lecture is a very flexible solution in this context. It uses AI capabilities to make learning more easy, more engaging, and more personalized. Um, using Amazon Bedrock, which is one of the, uh, the solutions from Amazon to you know, make interaction with, between teachers and, and students very effective. Uh, the, the thing which is really nice is that students can customize their learning environments. And it's something which is extremely important because it seems seamlessly also integrate 
with their own learning learning uh, management system that we have as a university. So there is no, uh, no, you are not going elsewhere. It's something which is embedded within the normal learning management system, which is very convenient for them. And it demonstrates also the, uh, the fact that it can be adopted at the University of Luxembourg. Um, and this, the last point probably is, is the fact that uh, as teachers, we can propose a learning environment, uh, a knowledge transfer environment, but also the, the students can engage in solutions where they can test themselves. The tool can generate questions and it can also generate site knowledge, which is also explaining the success or failures within the generate, which is easy GNI, uh, GNI test. So um, it's something which is extremely important because we can have students embrace these technologies to improve their uh, their knowledge transfer, but also it, it also improves the, the knowledge transfer from the view of the professor. So you improve the teaching. Super interesting. What benefits have you noticed since the implementation of lecture? Um, I think that uh, within this short period of one semester of test, um, we have two points. The first part it forces forced me to completely reassess the way I'm, no, I'm transferring knowledge to students, so I had to reorganize my courses. And, uh, and it's something which is not evident, to tell you the truth, uh, because, you know. And the second point is that uh, when I explain to the students in which sort of test we were going through this semester, uh, I needed to entrust them in the progress. And so it was also a challenge for them. Uh, and asked, and I told them, you know, ask as many questions as possible so that you can also learn from these experiments. Um, to make a long story short, at the end, uh, I said what I've looked at the exam at the end of, of this semester, um, the outcome and the performance of the students was much better. Um, it's something which, is, which was not evident at the start uh, because it was a bit disrupting from them also. Uh, but I'm still eager to see the results also in June because it will be fully implemented in this context. And, and last but not least, uh, it's something, you know, using lecture, lecture, it's something which is completely transparent for the, for the students. You know, they are using their normal SSO to log in and so on. And they are in their normal environment. And they, we as a university keep the full ownership of the data courses and so on and it's purely controlled we are just at the highest standards in terms of privacy so no big deal from this side yes security and data privacy are key priorities at aws and student outcomes increasing is awesome which of the lectures features do you find most useful in your work um, if there is one most important thing to mention is probably the fact that we are getting on the more personalized interaction with the teacher and with the and with and with lecturer. Uh, as said before, you know we are creating what we call a personalized learning network. It's something that people are talking about since ages, but nobody has really done something. And it's and that probably is where the game changing is coming. That now students can define their personal learning network. Uh, it's a fabulous extension uh, from, for the personal learning networks, and we obviously couldn't have been doing it without lecture. This is awesome. Based on this experience, what advice would you give other academics who would like to save time and improve their classroom experience? Yeah, I've probably one of the, my defaults to be provocative, but the, I would say that uh, don't be afraid to be, you know, to experiment, be curious, be provocative to, mix it, to some extent and take advantage of these new technologies. Um, even if they are disruptive, disruption is a factor of progress. And if you change, if you want to change higher education, you know, you also have to be disruptive in this context. And technically speaking, you know, normally university are at the forefront of your discoveries and teaching can also be, can also be revolutionized. And it's probably the time now to think about it. Thank you so much for this fascinating conversation, Eric. We want to put learners and teachers at the center by providing tools that create impactful learning experiences. I'm really glad to see such a strong collaboration between AWS and the University of Luxembourg. In a nutshell, uh, working with AWS and ADNT partners in the past months was really something which was extremely nice. Uh, we saw a real customer obsession. How can we do better for you? And it was something which was a real, dri a real driver. 
Also, we just signed a memorandum of understanding with, between uh, the University of Black Samba and IWS. It's something that we should extend for the future. Uh, we just started the, some sort of a small project. If we can extend it to other features and other classrooms and other education programs, that would be absolutely great. We'd love to do that. There's so many ways that we can help the University of Luxembourg lead the way in Europe and beyond. Training and upskilling the next generation of workforce, accelerating research, using AI data for innovation, just to mention a few. Absolutely. If what we discussed today sparked your curiosity, our AWS team can help you turn your biggest challenges into incredible opportunities. Head over to the AWS website or reach out to one of our specialists. Thank you so much for joining us today. Let's use technology to build better societies for all, safe, healthy, happy, and successful.